Welcome back. Pradesh Congress leadership has rejected Goa desk in charge Digvijay Singh's appeal to former congressmen to join back the Congress. Digvijay Singh had appealed former congressmen like TMC's Mamta and NCP Sharad Pawar to join Congress. State President John Fernandez says TMC's Churchill will not be allowed in Congress at any cost. Also, has warned that Ravi Naik will be sacked from the party if charges against him are proved. After Congress lost the Lok Sabha elections badly, here is an appeal from the General Secretary of Congress Party and Congress desk in charge Digvijay Singh. He says, I have been always telling Sharad Pawarji that he must merge NCP with Congress. I strongly feel an appeal to all the leaders and workers who have left Congress in the past, be it Sharad Pawarji or Mamta Banerjee to come back. It is time for a larger unity of all Congress-minded people across the country for a united fight. शरद पावर ने ने तेरी ममता बनाजी पुत्र ना पहला ममता बनाजी के अंदर जाके ममता बनाने से बोला बड़ा होता ना ममता बनाने के लिए किसी तरह नहीं कि ना हम जाके मेंबर नहीं से जाओ अन्य वो ममता बनाने जिसे दिन करते मुझे तो है ना मुझे किधर था मुझे लेने लगती है ना कि किस संगत से जोपा चर्चिल अलेमाउंटे� मजे चलिए टिकेट मेवना मजे चलिए टिकेट मेवना मका टिकेट मेवना मन ग स्वार्थी मनीस तंक पॉलिटिकल फिलॉजफी है कहीं ना तं फाटन तं फाटन तं फिलॉजफी मे सरकार पार्टी यो निवड़ ये कर पैसे कश कर मेन प्रिंसिपल आसा असले मनशांक पर कांग्रेस घोचे ना आमी रिजोल्यूशन पास के मनशांक पर हाँ आसर असले मनशान पर कांग्रेस घोचे ना Speaking on Ravi's recent comment on former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh, John said that tainted congressman like Ravi has no right to criticize or comment on former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh. John also warned Ravi will be sacked from the party if found guilty in criminal cases against him, and this would be applicable to all the party workers. Asle manisha je hai manis statement kara je tainted asa tanka bara bara no the, mana disciplinary committee action gethli. असले मनशा स्वार्थी मनशा कांग्रेस भाई उड़ना जैसे कांग्रेस वैर सरची ना हमारी यंग कैडर मंटा हूँ ती वैर सर लोग दिवचे ना तक हाय पैले का उड़ये वी वील नॉट प्रोटेक्ट एनी बडी सटनली एनी बडी हू इज देर इन्वॉल्व इन एनी इलिगेलिटीज वील बी ट्रोन आउट फ्रॉम द पार्टी Ravi had earlier blamed outgoing Prime Minister Manmohan Singh for poll defeat with video journalist Chetan Gavas locking Shilkar for Prudent. Prudent has once again emerged as number one source of news for Goans across the world. Prudent's website www.prudentmedia.in witnessed record-breaking traffic on the counting day of Lok Sabha elections. The traffic was almost 10 times more than the usual days. Goans across the world witnessed the results live through live streaming on the website. Election means prudent. Once again, Goans across the world has proved it. Record-breaking number of hits were marked on Prudent's website. Data indicates that not just Indians, but Goans across the world were glued onto the website for minute-to-minute -minute updates of Lok Sabha results. Here are the top 10 countries where Goans explored Prudent. India, United Kingdom, United Arab Emirates, United States, Saudi Arabia, Canada, France, Italy, Indonesia, Australia. The website witnessed 10 times more traffic on the counting day. If you look at the demographics, thousands of youngsters were hooked onto Prudent website. Here are the details. Age group between 18 to 24, 27.50%. 25 to 34, 33.50%. 35 to 44, 15.50%. 45 to 54, 12.50%. 55 to 64, 0.5.50%, 65 plus 0.5.50%. And here's the male female ratio male 54.15%, female 45.85%. This data clearly proves that Prudent was an undisputed number one on counting day for Govans, not just in Goa, but across the world. So, watch Prudent and be Prudent. Bureau Report Prudent. Governors are not politicians and as such they are not considered shameless by public. Governors facing questionable situations must voluntarily quit their posts. This is the demand of spokesperson of the BJP, Wilfred Miskita. 
This is following allegations against Goa Governor Bharatveer Vanchu's VVIP chopper deal. These posts are non-political posts, although the appointments are political. He and governors are not supposed to be politicians. And therefore, unlike politicians who shamelessly cling to their positions, even if they are convicted by the court, because they get shamelessly for some strange reason voted again by the people. Governor's post is totally a different ball game. It's a high constitutional post and therefore the sanctity of the post has to be maintained and therefore I maintain that such governors towards whom the needle of suspicion is pointing, they should gracefully design. The BJP demand becomes significant in the context of change of government at the centre and on the backdrop of latest information that Solicitor General Mohan Parasaran has cautioned the CBI against questioning the governors, even as witnesses, stating that they enjoy constitutional immunity. Earlier, the Central Bureau of Investigation had communicated to the Union Law Ministry that it wants to question two governors, M.K. Narayanan of West Bengal and B.V. Vanchu of Goa as witnesses in connection with its probe in the VVIP helicopter deal. The investigation pertains to 3,600 crores bribe in the deal that was scrapped by the government last year. Vanchu had taken over as Goa governor on 4th May 2012, soon after Bharatiya Janata Party-led government came to power in Goa in March 2012. A reporter Dishan Para for Prudent. Let's take a short break. Stay tuned.